Hey guys, I'm finally back with another video. Um, cut me a little bit of slack. I haven't been feeling good. Is this a sty? I get these, like, I don't know, out of nowhere. And they just come when they feel like it. But, um, see, that's one thing I don't like about having red hair is it drips, drip, drip, drips red. But anyways, guys, um, I wasn't really feeling good, and then I had date nights with Babe, which obviously I'd be up all night, so then I sleep, like, all day. So, yeah, so I just wasn't really feeling good, so I didn't post, but I'm back with a video, so let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so since I'm bored, I'm gonna play in my makeup a little bit. I just got out the shower, that's why my hair looks crazy, but I have conditioner in it because it was really dry and brittle and raspy. But I decided I'm gonna play in my makeup while I tell you guys the story. So basically, a lot of people wanted to know how my family reacted when I told them that I was moving to Australia. So I decided why not do that story time. <gasps> Before I get started, guys, okay. And if you follow me from way back, I had this necklace. I had got it off of, so you know how you can click on those little things on Instagram? I clicked on one on Instagram and I ordered a necklace that had said Makala's name and then it disappeared off the face of the planet. I don't know where it went. Um, so I ordered another one, but not from the same site. And the one I ordered now, I love it, it's fabulous. I was so excited when it came because I waited like a freaking month. So I got two of them and I'm gonna show you guys. So, in case you guys want to order, and for two of them, they were 50, so 25 a piece. The first one I got was 25, and it was cheaper material. Like, it was, you could bend it and everything. So, these ones are way better. But, okay, I'll show you guys in here. Okay, that's that one. And then this one has me and her date on it when we first started dating. For real, for real. For real, for real. So let me, Lord, okay, this one, like, it doesn't, I'm not going to try to really, really bend it, but the other one was flimsy, like, it really, bad. I'm sure I could snap this if I wanted to, but the other one really, like, just was flop, floppy, so this is this one, and I like it because it's, like, it looks legit, it's thick, it's nice, the other one was more flimsy, so these ones were worth the money if i had to compare this one to the other one the other one's not worth the money and it comes in cute packaging like when i got this in the mail yesterday i was like yes i woke my call up from sleeping everything about it and then damn come on day this one they're super cute i love them i can't wait to wear them then again i probably am gonna rarely wear them because I don't want them to get messed up I probably won't wear them when my hair is wet because as you know water messes things up okay but I just want to show you guys that so <clears throat> now to the story time time all right so originally I don't know if I want to do my makeup originally um I was just like there was a lot of different plans because obviously traveling to Australia is not like the cheapest thing in the world at all so um originally I was just gonna go and stay for a holiday but if you live in America then you know like Makala she gets good holidays she could leave for like a month and be fine and come back to her job America no, nah, you get two weeks top if you didn't take any sick days. So you could add that to your one week of vacation. And by the time I would have got to where Makala is on Australia, I'd have like five days. And that's not, that's not worth it. So originally I was going to vacation there, but I would have came back to no job. And then obviously I have a house to upkeep, had a house to upkeep and stuff that wouldn't have worked. So I went and explored some visa options because I couldn't like I love obviously I want to be where she is so the that other option wasn't really gonna work so I went and explored the visa options there was um 
a temporary, there's several different temporary visas. There's the, uh, I always forget the name of it, visitor visa. So basically on any visa, other than the work and holiday visa, you can't work and that's not okay with me. Cause yeah, I understand like I'm going there and all that, but no, I want to be able to work too. Cause I don't want Makala to have to put everything by herself, especially if I'm there. I don't think that's fair. She does, but I don't. So I wanted to go and work. So I got the work and holiday visa so that I could work as well as see the country and all that good stuff. So initially my family was under the impression that I was just going to go for holiday. That's what they thought originally. But I, I kept telling them like, I'm going to move to Australia. And I don't know if they thought I was joking or what. But like I kept saying it, I'm gonna move to Australia, I'm gonna move to Australia. And like, even when Makala was here, I said it to my mom and my mom kind of brushed me off a little bit. Like, yeah, okay. Cause I, I do talk a lot, I talk a lot. I be coming up with these plans that I don't go through with sometimes. But um, yeah, so I like, nah, I'm moving to Australia. I was supposed to go in June. So we, Makala was gonna come back here for my sister's 21st birthday. And then I was just going to go back with her. And then originally I was going to come back after a certain amount of time. But I didn't want to do that because I want to be able, I wanted to be able to stay there for a while. I didn't want to just go and stay there for, and enjoy myself for five days because that's pointless. Like I really actually wanted to go and enjoy my time. So when they thought i was just going for a holiday then it was like okay mm, we'll see if you really actually go then once i got my visa like my actual visa that allows me to live there um i don't know everybody's reaction was different my aunt jenny she had the best reaction she, I was at her house when I got it because I bring um, my little cousin to school in the morning for her. So she, I told her, like I launched it in her kitchen and I got it approved like a couple minutes later. I was like, oh my God, Jenny, my visa got approved, blah, blah, blah. So she was like, that's great. Um, there was a lot of aspects of it. Like I had asked um, some of my family members for help with certain things and I ended up, oh no, that went too high. Anyways, I ended up um, just doing it myself. So Jenny was just like, you know, I told you you could do it, blah, blah, blah. So Jenny, my aunt Jenny was like actually the most hyped for me. I'm not even gonna lie. I love my aunt. But she was the most excited for me. My grandma, she kind of just goes with the flow of everything. Okay, good luck out there. I don't think you're gonna like it. Blah, blah, blah. Cause they think I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like the temperature. That's what they think. That I'm going to get out there and I'm not going to like the temperature. So, they were kind of like, I don't know how to put it. Basically, just like, meh, meh to the whole thing. My sister was sad. She was being mean to me, actually, because she was sad. So, she's over it now. But, I mean, obviously, my family doesn't want me to go and be gone so far away. But, they'll be alright. Right? But, yeah. So, I guess everybody took it well. Nobody, anybody cry? Naimel. Naimel cried. That's, she's sensitive. But she cried. Because she's going to miss me, so. Yeah, but my family, I guess, took it pretty well. But I'm honestly ready for this C word to be done so I can actually be out and off it because I'm ready to go um I don't like everybody took it good I don't think like I I don't know my family is I don't know we kind of just all do our own thing in a way so it's like okay do what you're gonna do obviously my mom gave me a speech y'all know how my mom is she gave me a speech and all that so like and, you know, I just explained to everybody, originally the plan was for me to go on vacation, but financial-wise and life-wise, obviously I'm making my life with Makala. So, 
for me to go on a working holiday visa was smarter instead of having to like come back to America, get another job and then do save all over again and do all that extra stuff, lodge any other visas that we have to do because there's still like a hundred thousand more steps before I could like actually reside permanently in Australia. So I just felt like that was the best decision for me like financially and steady wise until the c word happened and now i'm like what the hell but um yeah so basically like my visa because you know what i'm gonna touch on this because everybody asks me um if i'm gonna live there permanently obviously i would like to but my the visa i have it allows you to stay in the country for a year so you can also extend that visa up to two years so i'm not sure if i want to extend it for two years yet or if i want to just lodge a different visa once you know like i finish everything i have to do for this one because you can't like you can't become a permanent australian citizen on the visa that i have you need to have a partner or a relationship marriage whatever a permanent visa to be able to to be able to actually get approved to live there so there's still like a lot of steps that i have to go through before i can definitely like stay there permanently but that is the goal that is the goal and i can't wait to go honestly like i'm so ready you guys have no idea Uh, yeah, so I guess my family took it all right. Now it's a different story once I'm actually, you know, getting on the plane. I think that's when people will be crying. My, oh, my cousin Mariah, she she's not happy about it. Because, like, as you guys know, like, I have another girl cousin, Hannah, but she's older than me. We, me and Hannah used to be close growing up, but, like, I uh, was still close, but she kind of like does her own thing. So M Mariah's with me more. So Mariah is very attached to me and I'm her older cousin. So like she was at my knee forever and a day. So she's kind of sad, but she'll be all right. I keep trying to tell them. I just set up a perfect vacation for y'all. Like, hello, best tropical hotspot ever. Come visit me. Duh. Nobody wants to see it that way, though. <laughs> Come visit me. It's because they don't want to get on a plane. My mom, see, Sister Tony. I love Sister Tony. I told y'all, that's my mom's church friend. I love Sister Tony. She'll come visit me. Yep. How's Sister Tony? Sister Tony's going to come, but my mom acting like she's hesitant. She better get on. I'm being simple, guys. That's literally all I'm doing for my makeup. I just got out the shower and I'm gonna have to wash my face again. Like, I do stuff that makes no sense. Just running out. See, and when Macaulay be telling y'all I take years to get ready, don't believe her. You see this? This was quick. It's like my hair's not done. This would be taking me a long time. I should put on lashes. I don't want to though, so I'm not. I'm gonna just do my mascara. Cause lashes, like I love my lashes, but the glue gets stuck in your real lash and it makes it hell to clean out. And I literally just scrub the shiznit out of my eyes to get it off. So I'm not putting them on. But yeah, guys, I honestly cannot wait to go to be with my lover. Like, I 
can't wait. <clears throat> well, I guess in the sense if you're asking if my family took it well, yeah, like nobody sp spazzed on me. <laughs> but then again, they knew it was obviously a thing. Like you see where those clumps are? That's where lash glue is like stuck. It won't come off. I need to go kill some more zombies. But yes. But honestly, I'm excited. Even though my plans have been delayed a little bit, I'm excited. Bam, done. All right, guys. So that is it for this video. I'm probably going to go live because I'm bored. I'm going to play zombies. But that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions or want to know certain things about visas and passports and all that good, lovely, annoying stuff, then comment down below. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you go hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.